This Thursday is Thanksgiving. And I'm guessing that probably tens of millions of families right here in the United States are going to get together as families and have feelings of gratitude and thanksgiving. And they're going to sit down around a table and eat together as a family. And I think that is absolutely sacred. And in tens of millions of homes where this happens, there's actually a name for this sacred time. It's called halftime. <laughs> and so it is. <laughs> You know, Thanksgiving, every one of us was thankful for the house and the car and uh, all this stuff. But we sometimes are thankful for the stuff. We're so thankful for the new car. And it won't be long before we're complaining it needs a $4,500 transmission and a $1,000 set of tires, huh? <laughs> But the real things that have value and that perhaps all of us are truly grateful for are the experiences of relationship within our lives. The people and the experiences we have with those people. And how about the experiences we have ourselves? I was going through, I gotta, I gotta back up here. For years and years, I'll let you know a little secret. Vivian didn't like to do Mother's Day, Father's Day, Easter, Thanksgiving, or Christmas services because it was the same old stuff. How do you say it? So she'd assign me that privilege. <laughs> and I was going back through some of the, because it's, it's, Thanksgiving again, or maybe still. That's the talk this morning. Is it Thanksgiving again, or is it still Thanksgiving, where every day we think about that? But anyway, I found this thing that I had, one of the talks that I gave on Thanksgiving. And I don't know who wrote it. Maybe I did. I don't think so. It's pretty good. Um, I'll read it to you. Be thankful that you don't already have everything you desire. If you did, what would there to be look forward to? Be thankful when you don't know something. Pay attention, Bruce. For it gives you the opportunity to learn. Be thankful for the difficult times. During those times, you grow. Be thankful for your limitations because they give you the opportunity for improvement. Be thankful for each new challenge because it will build your strength and character. And be thankful for your mistakes. They will teach you valuable lessons. And be thankful when you're tired and weary because it means you've made a difference. It's easy to be thankful for the good things. A life of rich fulfillment comes to those who are also thankful for the setbacks. Gratitude can turn a negative into a positive. Find a way to be thankful for your troubles and they can become your blessings. I couldn't have written that. Thankful for all of the experiences in your life because everyone has value. Of course, we give thanks for the comfortable, jolly, happy times in our lives. But the other times teach us as well.
I'm going to, I think there's even something, I don't know, I don't know really how to say this. Um, I've heard two people say something that really stuck with me. I'm going to try to put it together in a sentence. I think it is very meaningful if we can be thankful for something that we learned that changed our life or that allowed us to elevate our consciousness. Very recently, I had a conversation with a member of this congregation. It was a lady, and she said, you know, since I figured out that I can let spirit run and drive my life, life is a total joy. I recently had a conversation with a gentleman of this congregation who said, you know, I've always been very dollar conscious and very frugal. But he said about a year ago, I increased my tithe to Church of the Oaks. I also started giving money in other areas. He said, I never thought about it much, but he said, Recently, I looked at my income for this year, and it's better than it's been in years. And he's a retired individual who's on kind of a fixed income. These little things that we learn about the spiritual principles of life, when we, when we become aware of them and we make these subtle little changes in our lives. What a difference it makes. And not only in our lives, in the lives of people in our families and our communities. So I hope all of us really take some time this coming week and reflect on this thing called gratitude and reflect on your lives and how much of your lives are just being run by habit and the same old, same old. Or have you become aware of something recently that is changing your life? Reflect on how many times do you actually feel gratitude is it just on Turkey Day? Is it just when you wake up in the morning and just happy that you woke up? Or how about every experience that offers you a chance to learn something or feel something new? We talk about volunteering. There's nothing that makes a person feel any better than when they give of themselves. Wayne did a great mini message a couple of years ago about thanks for giving. Not only you, but your own thanking someone else for giving, but thank yourself for what you give to the universe. Appreciate your own being. And all that encompasses. Every one of us has a story a life story. Do we ever stop and think how many other lives we've impacted on this journey? You might be surprised in how, how positive that impact has been. It's cause for gratitude. It's called for, cause for thanks for this life experience, this opportunity to share everything that we were given. There's
We all want to experience joy and happiness and peace. And we're going to sing pretty soon, Let There Be Peace on Earth. Well, folks, I think that if you want to experience peace and experience joy and happiness, first thing we probably need to do is to accept this world as it is, not as we would like it to be. But once we've accepted that and accepted all the people that do bad things and horrible things and all of the all of the fires and all then we can actually use our gifts use our giving use our gratitude to improve the situation to elevate the consciousness but if we live in a bubble of make believe and wish and want probably not going to make a big difference it's not people standing up from pulpits and podiums and lecterns around this country that are going to change our situation it's what each one of us gives to this universe and gives to our society and gives to each other And we all have an abundance of everything this universe needs to experience peace, to experience being loved, to not be hungry. Have a great Thanksgiving every single day and may each of us have the wherewithal to experience gratitude many 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 times every day of our lives the world needs us the world needs gratitude and so it is let's sing let there be peace on earth. <laughs>